Um, but I think this semester, what I thought would be more timely, given the where generative AI is at, I think what might and what's more fun for me because it's kind of nicer um, uh, criticizing someone else than <laughs> trying to do my own stuff <laughs> is um, the, to do you know problem solving with the ChatGPT for Omni, and so. Let me do this as a test student. I did spend a little bit of time advancing test student to the, to the point where um, he's about to work on problem set two. So, so I'll do that. I will um, uh, bring up problem set two and I'll go over uh, some of the questions uh, as a kind of demonstration of how you might use ChatGPT in a way it's acting more like a tutor, it's helping you learn. You are not cheating with the ChatGPT, you are learning with the ChatGPT. So, um, so yeah, so this is problem set two. Test to student has gotten 10 questions. Um, so let me just find a question that's uh, fairly substantial. Um, because, you know, question like this is kind of easy, you know, it's giving you the, uh, so it's easy for people who have uh, memorized the, the important relationships. So, um, so, you know, which describes me. So like, like, this is the kind of question that if I'm not explaining anything, I can do this in, um, do this in five seconds, I think. Maybe <laughs> um, now, if I'm explaining it, then the explanation takes a little more time, and the time that it takes would be okay. I know the definition of acceleration as change of velocity over change of time, and there's that bit of a distinction about you know is this a finite amount of time or are you doing an infinitesimal amount of time so that it's a derivative. As long as it's a constant acceleration, this distinction doesn't make a difference. And uh, once you have that, then you read the question, realize that them having given you the final velocity and guessing that starting from rest, your initial velocity was zero meters per second, they gave you this change of velocity, 60 meters per second. And they gave you the amount of time, 20 seconds. And you do 60 meters per second divided by 20 seconds, that gives you three meter per second squared. So this is the kind of um, easy question in the sense that once you know the formulas, then then great, you got everything you need. Uh, it's, you can get the answer. Um, plug, plug the numbers into formula, you're done. Those are the easy questions in physics. So let me look for a question that's not like that, where all you have to know is a formula, where you have to um, go through a few multiple steps and we'll work through that uh, using ChatGPT uh, and I'll try to demonstrate what I think is proper way to use it, uh, one that's not you know, academic dishonesty. Um, and yeah, this is another one of these. And yeah, and um, so I guess uh, maybe a kind of drill thing you could do is, you know, having read this, what formula do you think you need? Uh, you need a V squared formula. So maybe I could do that. Let me see if ChatGPT will give um, this uh, question, uh, give that answer. Um, so let me just try it out. I'm curious. Um, Can you tell me what formula I need to answer this question? Um, so I'm do, pasting in a screenshot of the question and just asking it for formula, which you know I don't recommend. Like that's the kind of the question that won't really help you learn. But I think oh wow, well, it's not yeah yeah okay uh, yeah <laughs> uh, but that's. Uh, more than one formula. Is there one formula that would give me everything I need? Yeah. <laughs> I know what the answer it should be, but I guess, yeah, V squared formula. That's the one formula that you need. Uh, I guess what led me to V squared formula is reading the question and realizing that nothing here had anything to do with the time. So um, you could do it uh, the long way, like work through time. You can, you don't have to. And in any case, I think this is wrong. Uh, the time isn't, 
five seconds. Or, oh, wait, wait, there's, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, actually, it, <laughs> I, was, I was reading it too quickly. There is a time information. So, sorry, never mind. You can't use the V squared formula. So, um, in any case, that is still an easy question because once you have the formula, you're done. So, let me uh, find a question. I think this is, uh, yeah, I think this might be a good uh, example question because this is, uh, I, I don't know. A lot of the kinematics form, uh, questions are kind of where if you um, have the kinematics equations, then it's kind of um, figuring out which numbers of it where you can approach it that way. And this kind of looks that way. But uh, let me um, let me do this question in a more proper way. And then um, and then we'll go from there. Um, so let me get, by the way, you have to give ChatGPT this instruction. Otherwise, if you simply give it a question, it'll just uh, answer it on its own. So I'm gonna give it a reminder that for this session, I don't want answers. I want it to teach me. So, okay, uh, for this session, uh, please don't give me answers right away to the questions. I want to learn, uh, please um, uh, wait for me to describe what I have so far and give me just the next step. And it'll probably acknowledge it and to test if it got my instruction correctly, I will um, just paste the question and then see what it does. Uh, this is the question. And then hopefully it won't tell me anything. It'll just ask me what to do next. It seems like projectile motion with the vertical motion only, which is really not even a projectile motion. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't have the complexity of a projectile motion might. So we'll find the one like that later. Filling the following steps, finding the highest height. Yeah, it's just laying out the uh, parts. That's good. This symbols on the same of velocity and gravity work against each other. Okay. Um, yeah, so where would you like to start? So, you know, I don't tell you to memorize the formulas a lot, but kinematics formulas are uh, among the formulas that I think is it's really useful for you to have memorized. Just because, so you know, you, you can look it up. So until you have it memorized, you should know where to find it in the textbook. And uh, my recommendation is each time you look it up, have it as your goal to memorize them. Because it's one of those things where uh, it'll just save you so much, um, so much frustration <laughs> if you have the formulas memorized. Because it doesn't, it's like, you know, knowing the definition of words versus having to look it up every single time in a dictionary, like when you're learning a foreign language. And um, so until you have it memorized and you have to look it up, that's fine. Start there. But at some point, you should have this set of formulas memorized. So let me, um, your textbook even have this convenient table, summary table. Like, uh, so this is where you would look it up, but then you should uh, really uh, aim to memorize it at some point soon. So let me write it down. Um, so this is the formula that hopefully you are working towards memorizing and eventually have it memorized. Final position is initial position plus uh, it says average velocity. Um, oh yeah, it does have to be average velocity. So I don't think the first equation is what I would even memorize. Um, what I would memorize is this one. Final velocity is your initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And this one, one for position. Final position is your initial position plus initial velocity only, not the average velocity, times time, plus now the uh, contribution from any acceleration that would involve changing velocity, changing your um, the average velocity. And finally, the V squared formula. Well, sorry, not finally. V squared formula, which is one of the formulas you should have memorized. 
v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2 times acceleration times uh, delta x or you could say final minus initial position and uh, finally this uh, formula comes in handy from time to time you might um, write it down in two different ways one is the definition of the average velocity which should be just change of position over change of time um, but yeah, under the specific scenarios where you have constant acceleration, which is um, where these formulas are derived for, you get this special formula where it's just the sum, not the difference, but the sum of the initial and the final velocity divided by 2. So I think when you see it on the graph, it makes sense. Oh, yeah, the addition of the initial and final divided by 2, that does give you the average velocity if you're velocity is changing in a straight line under constant acceleration. So, um, so having this, uh, ha uh, having either looked up or had this uh, kinematics formulas memorized, what I can ask a chat GPT is, uh, I have these uh, kinematics formulas, um, and I'll just type it out, V underscore F is equal to V underscore initial plus acceleration times time, x underscore final underscore is the uh, typing symbol for subscript it's kind of universally understood is equal to x underscore zero for initial plus v underscore zero for initial times time plus one half times acceleration times time squared um v final the v squared formulas v initial squared plus two times x times x final minus x Initial, oops. If you miss it, uh, it'll probably still understand you fine. And finally, if we average is equal to, uh, I'll just write the last one. If we initial plus we final divided by two. Uh, for number one, which of these formulas do I use? It's not the best question. Uh, whenever you are asking, what formula do I use? Um, it's a um, there's a danger that formula you get will just basically skip to the answer but um, as a starting place hey I, I think it's uh, better than nothing <laughs> let me move this out of the way so they're not in the okay, here uh, let's see I think that's fine so right on track of the kinematics formulas for part A of the problem highest point uh, focus on when the, the which is peak highest point. Ah, uh, yeah, at the highest point will be zero, and the most useful formula. Oh, yeah, and this is where I was saying, um, any situation where you don't involve time, like your given information doesn't involve time, and to figure this out, it doesn't involve time. V squared formula is a good first to guess. So, um, and I think uh, does it not mention that? Yeah, it doesn't mention whether you have time information, but I guess the main thing is that. As you look at any of the other formulas, you'll realize, oh, I don't know times. So I have to first to figure it out. If you are using v squared formula, then all um, you are, you can figure out all the information. You can figure out the final velocity, which will be zero. You are given the initial velocity, which is that, and you know the acceleration, which will be gravity. And um, you know the final position, which you want, want to find. You know the initial position, uh, 1.8 meters above the pool. Uh, but you have to be careful here. It's looking for above the board. So my initial position will be just the zero, uh, like at the board. So uh, so, so let me work it out. Um, I, just because it mentions this, it might not recognize what's the correct one, but... Um, let me just uh, plug in the numbers in O from alpha or um, uh, let's see. Can I do this in O from alpha? Let me give this a try. Solve. Um, um, is equal to V squared plus 2 times A times X final minus X initial for X final. I don't know if it'll do that. It might, might not. Um, you can also do this in stage math. Yeah, it doesn't do that. <laughs> so um, 
you could, uh, you know, at some point, you know, you, I, I do recommend that people build up their algebra skill. So at some point, you should uh, have enough um, skill that you can do this on your own. On paper, if you can do it all, all in your head, great, like as I'm going to do right now. But even if not, if you have to go through the step-by-step -step manually, you have to start somewhere, you have to practice. So that's what you will eventually have to do. Uh, for now, let me imagine that I need uh, some help getting to this and ask ChatGPT for help. Uh, I think uh, I need some algebra help uh, solving for x final from the v squared formula. Can you uh, tell me the steps? So it's, uh, oh, so it's simplifying it first. That's fine. Uh, now, I will tell you that um, you do want to get into habit of not plugging in numbers until the very end. But when that number is zero, that often simplifies your equation. Fine. Uh, it's fine. Start there. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, simplify it a little bit. And then it's trying to isolate x final by moving this over. And it's doing this step to move it over. And then uh, you want to move this over. And the step it's doing is to divide the both sides to do that. And then you are still trying to isolate this. And to do that, you add this to both sides. Or add x not to both sides. It's done that. Gotten that. And yeah, so formula will give you high final height x above the pool. Finding remember to so, uh, so yeah, the initial height is just zero because you start out at the board. But uh, um, let's see. So it's asking, would you like to plug in the numbers now? I'll say yes. I plug the in the numbers and got uh let me plug in the numbers so it should be um so minus initial speed 3.7 squared and i won't put in the units this time because i don't need uh all from alpha to do unit conversions for me and then it should be just to, uh but for the acceleration i do need it to be minus 9.8 um, so that i get a positive answer so um, so I get 0 0.698 uh, meters. So I got 0 0.698 meter. Let me see if ChatGPT tells me this is correct or says, says it's wrong. Um, yeah, so you do have to watch out that, like any tutor, it can be wrong. Um, so if you put in what it tells you is correct answer, it'll be wrong. Because, you know, it's above the board. It's not asking for above the pool. So um, you as a human being can read and figure that out. Large language model, despite these appearances, it doesn't actually reason. It's an advanced text prediction algorithm. It doesn't actual, have the actual capability to reason things through. So it will miss the fact that your question asked about above the board. And this is about above the pool. And the number you just got, 0 0.698, that is just the correct answer. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It did a... Yeah, why did it do this first? Uh, actually, never mind. If you're actually reading the response, uh, 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 you know. It'll, it'll do <laughs> this circuitous stuff because it's uh, feeding the pattern where um, typical question might actually be asking about the above the pool instead of the pool. Yeah. So how long a time are her feet in the air? Um, so I, we only have six minutes. So let's uh, imagine you can work through the rest of this. And let me find a more substantial actual um, projectile motion question and work through that. Uh, so I'll say, all right. I, I, I think I can do the rest of the question on my own. I have a new question. Um, so let me find an actual projectile motion question. Um, let's see. This can be fun. Um, there's a basketball one. 
Um, you know, this is actually uh, can be quite complicated. So let me ask you this one. The first time I did this question, I actually made a mistake in handling the inherited velocity. So let me ask you this. And uh, some of the harder physics questions are where the question gives you some bunch of information and it's asking you just one thing. And that's actually harder because in a multi-part question, usually they'll be built in a way to kind of help you along the process. And here it just, uh, uh, it's asking you for basically the final answer without uh, giving you the intermediate steps to help build up to that. So let me uh, post this, this is the question. And then hopefully they'll wait for me to describe more. And uh, yeah, I guess, um, um, I, I feel like this is giving you too much information. Uh, so you might want to think about the question on your own a little bit first before even doing this. Because uh, if uh, someone's always telling you what to do the first, uh, as a first step, you might not learn uh, how to come up with those first steps yourself. Well, let's read it and see. Um, since the ball and hold to the remain constant, well, yeah. Um, yeah, that's characteristic of projectile motion, but it doesn't have anything to do with whether the ball is thrown horizontally or not, but let me not nitpick it right now. Uh, vertical motion, the ball will fill under gravity. So I see the question in the chat, is drawing pictures of what is given the best way to conceptualize what is given and what you need to find? Yes, that's what I recommend. And in fact, that's what you will see me do if you are looking at the homework help videos. So uh, let me show you the homework help video where I've done this question. It's one of those uh, uh, like take two <laughs> video because I had to do a second time to get rid of um, uh, sign, one of the sign errors. So it's uh, probably this one. So, you know, when I'm doing this question, yeah, I, I, uh, the fir very first thing I start out with is drawing the pictures. And uh, one thing that I'm not telling you to do that when you are getting, or, so you can ask uh, ChatGPT to draw the picture for you. Like if I were to ask, uh, can you uh, sketch the setup for me to help me understand? It won't give you a good picture. It's a limitation of this AI because it's going to use a DALI. And DALI is a kind of artistic um, thing. So the whatever picture it's drawn you, ignore it. It's going to be nonsense. <laughs> so, um, so when you're solving question yourself, yes, I do recommend that you draw pictures. That's how you see me demonstrate in almost every one of my homework help videos. Sometimes I probably overdo it. I draw pictures even in really simple questions where pictures are not necessary. But yeah, that, that's what I recommend. Um, if you are using ChatGPT as a tutor, you just have to know that as a limitation of ChatGPT. That you can think of it like a really smart, good tutor who's blind. So they can uh, give you really good answers, um, can reason things through, they are good with the words, but the moment you ask them to draw it, draw things, it doesn't really have ability to draw. It, it has DALI, but DALI can't do analytical drawings. So, um, so, so continuing with how, uh, how to use ChatGPT as a tutor. <laughs> so it's given you these steps. Um, so, since the ball is thrown horizontally, yeah, yeah, I went through that. Uh, yeah, ball will fall under gravity, it'll accelerate downward. Yeah, one commotion. So, for where the first you'll need to calculate the time it takes for the ball to hit the ground. Uh, so, having read and understood, I think uh, I would just start from this. Yeah, let's start with the. Uh, um, uh, let's uh, start with uh, calculating the time it takes for the ball to hit the ground. And I'm hoping it'll handle the inherited velocity issue correctly. Hopefully it does. If we, oh wow, it doesn't. Okay, so if you are doing this question, don't use the ChatGPT. It won't, um, I don't think it'll answer correctly. So, um, 
I solved for t and got. Let me just get the number quickly so that I'll see if ChatGPT can correct it to a mistake. Um, so solving for t, which will be square root of 2 times 100 divided by 9.8. So 2 times 100 divided by 9.8. Take the square root of that. Solve to t and got 4.5 seconds. And it'll say that that's correct. Um, and let me just uh, imagine that I went through the rest of the calculations. and Or, you know, I can actually do this part. Uh, so I can 4.5 seconds times 30, and it'll be wrong. So I'll put in 135.6, 135.6. I put in 135.6 meters, but the uh, system says the answer is wrong. Was there a mistake in above the steps? And while it's answering, I'll submit. It'll say it's wrong because it's wrong. Um, let's see if... Uh, yeah, it's not either of those. So, okay. Uh, this is where um, I'll just recognize the limitation of ChatGPT. Like, uh, you know, tutor. Sometimes the tutors... Um, can be mistaken about physics. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, so, so here what ChatGPT has to take into account and explain is uh, what I what a lot of people call. Uh, can you explain the concept of inherited velocity? And it'll probably explain inherited velocity. And the reason it didn't take um, inherited velocity into account initially is that it's a it, it's an advanced text prediction model. It doesn't actually reason things through. Yes, it knows about inherited velocity, but it doesn't take it into account because um, uh, oh maybe if I say yes, will it do that? Um, because it's not actually reasoning things through. It's trying to fit patterns. And uh, let me see if uh, we do this correction. It'll correctly no it's oh, actually it might because here the relative signs are correct inherited velocity is downward gravity is downward so i think this might actually be right uh, uh go ahead uh, and calculate i just want to see if uh, chat can get to the correct answer on its own oh wait it's not gonna take long might have been quicker for me to plug in the numbers myself Okay, 4.32. Let's see. So I have 4.32 times, oh, it already did it, 129.6, maybe. Yeah, but you know, for you to help ChatGPT get to this correct answer, you had to know about <laughs> inherited velocity, uh, which means um, you really didn't need its help. But so when you are, when and if you are using ChatGPT to uh, as a tutor, just to be aware, it can make mistakes. And um, if you are stuck, uh, probably better to just look for the homework help. Um, a lot of the now it's possible that there's a mistake in the homework help video, but I've caught a lot of them and you know read the videos when I caught those mistakes. Uh, but you know if you find any mistakes in the video, let me know so that I can fix it for the future. So so we are at the time, so I think that's enough of the demo. Um, uh, if uh, there are any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll probably keep doing this um, uh, kind of illustration of how one might use ChatGPT as a tutor. I'll probably keep doing that. Um, now, as we move into standard strategy in the coming weeks, it'll run into that limitation where it doesn't know how to draw a free body diagram. But one thing that might work out well is to ask it to describe the free body diagram and you draw it for them and for, for the ChatGPT. I think uh, that process might actually help you understand the diagrams you are drawing. So, uh, so I'll continue doing that. <laughs> Again, this is the fun stuff for me. That's really the main reason I'm doing it. So.